Before we get into this video, I would like to reiterate and remind everybody that I am not a medical professional. If you see me reviewing things, please make sure you run it by your doctor or dermatologist or medical care provider. I am not telling you to try this without seeking consultation. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Sakaija. If you're new here, welcome. This channel is all about random craziness. Go click my playlist. If you're returning, thank y'all. We're on a journey to a thousand plus subscribers and we are almost there. <laughs> So stay subscribed and stay tuned for my content. So today's video is going to be about something that has worked for me when it comes to my acne. I am fresh out of the shower so that is why I'm sweating a little bit because I take super hot showers. But I've noticed a drastic change in my skin when it comes to just my cycle in general. I'm pretty, my body is pretty regular so when my period is about to start, I usually break out so bad. And my period is due in a couple of days, which means my skin should be bumpy, prickly, gross. But if you can see, and I still have breakouts, but they have drastically minimized. They have drastically minimized because I have been using this one product. I'm gonna do my whole skincare routine to kind of just show you guys what I do, but this one product literally changed the game. I've been using it since March, and I have not had nasty cystic acne since. And I still get breakouts, I still get blackheads, but they are nowhere near as many, as big, as painful as they used to be. If I can find photos, I will insert them. And as you can see, I still have dark marks and acne scarring and I live right down the street from LAX, so Ooh, there you go. I'm dealing with one thing at a time, so I wanted to find something that worked to get my acne under control, and I feel like I finally found that. Next, I will start dealing with discoloration because I want to take my time introducing my skin to new products. So let's get into it. My face wash is from Darfane. Some of this stuff is kind of expensive. I will say my Darfane products are a little bit more on the expensive side, but I went to see an esthetician and she used these products on me and I like them and I've been using Darfane for probably a year now. And I use the Skin Matte. So if you do try these products and you have oily skin like me or combination skin, make sure you use the products that are made for oily skin. And I usually do this part in the shower because my pores are more open because of the steam. But I want to show you guys how I do it. I really get into my skin, especially my cheeks, because that's where most of my acne builds up. Sometimes on my forehead, but not too bad. But I get lots of blackheads and pimples right here on my cheeks. So I like to just work it all the way through. Make sure you get your neck and decollete. And I do counterclockwise because we don't want no wrinkles. And I wash it off with cold water. Make sure you're using fresh towels as well if you do suffer from acne because our skin is more sensitive to dirt and things like that. So I wash it off with a towel because this is also my exfoliant. And I also, I'm not gonna show you my exfoliant because I already exfoliated yesterday and I wasn't thinking about that. I exfoliate twice a week and do not judge me, but I do use apricot scrub. Don't judge me, it's just to get my skin smooth. But usually I use a washcloth so I don't have to exfoliate as much. All right, so I usually pat dry my skin with a towel. Do not wipe it because I just read that you're not supposed to. My esthetician said don't, so I pat it. Make sure it's all clean. Make sure my neck is all clean. Boop, boop, boop. Now let's tone. I use some really cheap stuff to tone, but it has literally worked for me for years. I use Sea Breeze Astringent. Can you see that? I use the one for sensitive skin. The solution is blue. I'm almost out and I use a cotton swab. Some people may cringe that I do this, but or use this product, but I do. So I make sure I really get deep into my skin and get all the excess dirt and oil out. And I really, again, focus on my cheeks because those are my problem areas, as you can tell by my scarring. So I really get in there. My nose gets really shiny too, and astringent helps with oil control. 
make sure you do not tone under your eyes. That is some very sensitive skin and I made that mistake years ago with some Clinique toner and my eye, under my eye has been dark since and just getting darker. I do behind my ear, I do all like when I'm finishing up, just get all the extra dirt, my neck, you know, a little extra bath. I usually use an acne spot treatment. This is from Target, can you see? Really cheap, it was like $5 from Target. I do this specifically when I have pimples. I don't put this all over my face. I put it on my breakouts and I haven't had a pimple in a while, but I still put it on to prevent them. I don't know if this prevents them. It definitely gets rid of them, but I still put it on where I usually see maybe some bumps flaring up right there and it's usually just on my cheeks like this looks like it's gonna flare up in a couple of days so i just like dab it on there not too much i might have one of them yeah see there's one on my forehead coming up and my breakouts are they usually start off as blackheads and then they turn into pimples and then i just work them in slowly make sure i really really get it in all right these look mostly rubbed in we're gonna go to the product that has completely changed my face. Baby, baby, is it focusing? Vitamin C Serum. This is from Marshalls, it was $5.99. I just went on their website and bought a new bottle because this is almost gone. It's from Province Beauty. I will put the link down below. It's the Glow Day Serum, Vitamin C Serum, and it's natural and it's vegan and it smells just like citrus. This has literally changed the game when it comes to my acne, y'all. Like, when I tell you my breakouts used to be bad and just like thick and gross, now I'm just barely getting blackheads and if I do get a pimple, they come straight to a head. I usually pop them, you're not supposed to, and then that's it, and then I put the spot treatment on. I bought it because it's supposed to lighten your acne scars, and I didn't want to use bleaching cream. So, I got this, but this has been a total oil and acne controller for me. So it says on the bottle to only use a, full, a few drops. I just squeeze the syringe as much as it'll squeeze, and I use most of the solution in there. If you can see, it fills up like, you know, a quarter and I literally just go in lightly let it drip down my face squeeze some I focus on my cheeks a lot I let it drip down so yeah it says use like two to three drops I use enough to cover my huge face we get the mustache because it's dark there again I do not do under my eyes Whew, going on my lip and it smells so good and then what I do I just rub it in rub it in oh it feels so good and it's refreshing because it smells so good next I do use an eye cream because under my eye is dark I'm gonna link all the products below come on focus this is from Darfin this is also expensive again my Darfin products are a little bit more on the expensive side this eye cream I'm not even gonna say the price I just do one pump and I split that between both of my eyes and it just goes on your lid. So then I, I spread it out and then I counterclockwise go around until it's all rubbed in or mostly rubbed in. I've only been using this for probably like two weeks cause it took forever to get here. And I can kind of tell a difference with the color under my eyes. They were much, much darker than this two weeks ago. And I need to really do better at documenting photos, but it's pretty much rubbed in. Here's the thing, I use moisturizer. So at night, I'm not gonna put this on today. At night, I use the Darfin and Hydra Skin Light Gel Moisturizer. I love it, it's super lightweight. It, you don't need much to cover your whole face. I love it, but I only use it at night because during the day, I use a sunscreen. I use a super goop everyday sunscreen. This is a non comedogenic sunscreen, which means it will not clog your pores. I have tried so many sunscreens and SPFs for a moisturizer, and they've all clogged my pores. Unfortunately, Black Girl Sunscreen did not work for me. It broke me out so bad, and it claims to be non comedogenic. It did not work for me. This also does not give darker complexion people a white cast, which I really like. It is thick, so you only need a little bit. And it's an SPF 
50. So I would recommend, sometimes I take some in my purse, like in a little baggie or something, and I apply it throughout the day. One thing that black people refuse to get through our heads, because I was one of them, we do need sunscreen. Especially when you have discoloration and your skin is not even. I use about that much and I rub it together. And this is my moisturizer for the day. Oh my gosh, I love it. And yeah, you are gonna be a little bit shiny, but it goes away and I promise you it should not break you out. Again, consult someone, but I love this SPF. I got this from Saks Fifth Avenue for like $50 the big gallon and I've had it for at least eight months now and it's not even almost finished. And I use this when I don't have my Darfin. I do use the sunscreen at night. And sometimes I use the sunscreen as lotion on my body because it's non-scented, it's moisturizing, and I can put perfume on top. This is a free gift for buying all that damn Darfin stuff. I spent like $200. It, I don't know if it's gonna focus. It is a petal infusion lip oil. And I don't know if they even sell this because it was a free gift, but I like it because it moisturizes my lips. I was using Vaseline to finish my skincare routine every day. But this stuff stays on all day. I even use it as lip gloss one time and I put a liner around it. Y'all, lasted all freaking day. So then I do one last swipe, swipe, swipe. Then I choose a fragrance for the day. Let's do some Centre Mall from Louis Vuitton. And voila. That is my eight or nine step skincare routine. That vitamin C serum, y'all, I promise y'all, it is a game changer, changer! Sorry, control yourself, girl. It's a game changer. If you try it, let me know. If you have tried it and it works, let me know. And if you have tried it and it didn't work, let me know. Like, what did you learn about your skin? This has personally worked for me. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody, but I hope that you do get to try it and let me know your review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you stay subscribed. Make sure you share, comment, show some love, y'all. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. All right, I hope you have a great day. Bye.